Facebook's acquisition of virtual reality firm Oculus is a reminder that technology will continue to play a larger role in the future of our day-to-day -day lives. However, for one individual, that future is now. Chris Dancy is known as the most connected man on the planet, and he joins me now from Denver to explain the 700 devices he integrated into his life. Uh, Chris, th thanks for joining us. 700 devices, why? <laughs> it's actually 700 systems. I actually have uh, only about 10 or 11 devices that I wear on my body and only about 20 or 30 in the home. Uh, you get to the 700 number when you add all the different services I use in the cloud, like Facebook. Still, wh why? I mean, it still doesn't answer the question why and what got you started. It seems uh, a, a lot. It is a lot. Uh, about five years ago, I was kind of looking at everything I was creating online and realized I wasn't saving any of it. And I was really afraid that some of it might be important to me at one point. So I just started looking for ways to gather this information without doing any extra work so that I could search it and make use of the information. Kind of snowballed into a bigger project and then snowballed into some experimentation. And then kind of people found out about what I was doing last year. And it's kind of popular right now. <laughs> so you're, I see you're wearing Google Glass, Glass there, which I, I, is said to be becoming a lot more popular when, when they get it uh, looking a little bit different. Now, explain some of the benefits. You say weight loss is one of the things. Mm -hmm. uh, why is that? Uh, well, weight loss for me, I struggled with my weight my whole life. I'm 45 years old, and it, it's just been difficult. Um, analyzing and actually having the availability to look and be a little bit aware of my behavior uh, became really critical. Uh, I knew I was eating poorly and I wasn't exercising, but I had no real way of understanding how and why those patterns were happening. So very simple data collection routines actually helped me understand my behavior. And then you add in all sorts of wearables. I didn't know if I should wear some for you today or not. Um, and they actually help then enhance that. So if you do get to a point where you're not exercising enough, something like uh, a posture uh, strap on your back will tell you, hey, stand up and walk around. So consider it like constant feedback. Um, you can dial it down or dial it up. But ultimately, this is the type of future we're looking at where people live a data-assisted reality. Are we going to be following in your footsteps, do you think, Chris? Gosh, I hope not. I, I, I think in a few years, enough of this technology will be small enough and imperceptible enough. I have a sensor uh, that I wear under my sleeve, and I love it because no one can see it. But a lot of this technology today is just obnoxious in the way that it gets in the way of people interacting with you. I think that's going to take a few years for it to get small enough and out of the way enough. You know what you say, it, it, in some senses, it's so obtrusive and, or it, it, it pushes into people's lives. Do you, do you ever think about disconnecting? I know that I like, like it those days. <laughs> We turn off, you know, you turn off the computer, turn off the smartphone, and just have a Zen moment, maybe with a cup of, <laughs> cup of tea or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, I'm one of those few people that when I recharge, I literally recharge because um, <laughs> everything has to plug in at some point. Uh, you know, the idea of disconnecting used to really be something I, I, I liked. Uh, but I've kind of come comfortable with the idea that even if I did kind of disconnect, there's still a bunch of information happening uh, online without me uh, that just touching anything today is creating a ripple across the digital pond. Um, so I, I try not to fetishize the idea of disconnecting too much. I just try to be okay with there's a lot of information around me. And that information can be used for good. And I don't have to participate in it. Things aren't moving as fast as they seem. Ah, things aren't moving as fast as they seem, but we have reached the end. It has moved as fast as it seemed in this particular segment. We have to disconnect you now. Thank you very much, Chris Dancy. Thank you so much. I'm Simon Constable, and this is Digits.